Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Today we're going to show you our uh, variation of the LM3914 battery voltage detector circuit. Uh, this can be used for batteries, voltage detectors. Uh, essentially what you need is uh, a stable power source, 2 volts higher than your, your reference voltage. Uh, you can select between the bar function and the uh, level function. I'll show you all this, but first of all we're going to show you how to go through the kit. We're also going to talk about the schematic. So first of all we're going to put the kit together, uh, power it up, make sure it works, do a demonstration, and then we'll talk about the schematic. So we've got three kinds of LEDs. Green, red, and yellow. We've got four yellow LEDs to indicate low voltage, three yellow LEDs to indicate medium voltage, and two green LEDs to indicate the full voltage area. We've got one monetary tag switch, uh, an LM79 or 3914 IC socket, one 100k potentiometer, one 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, one 0 0.1 electrolytic capacitor, one 470 ohm resistor, and one 1k ohm resistor. And as we go along, I'll explain what each of them do. But then again, you'll see it in the schematic as well. So first of all, let's put on our uh, let's put on our uh, resistors and our capacitors. We've got our 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor ceramic uh, uh, placed right here. It's not polarized, so you can place it either way. Uh, it should be labeled 104 on it. That's a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor. We've got our 1K resistor labeled on the board. Now that's actually going to control the current of the LEDs. You can swap that for a different value if you'd like at home. Our 470 ohm resistor is actually used to stabilize the current on LED 1. I suggest placing it. There is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor option here, but we don't include that capacitor because as the kit is, you don't need it. If you're going to be splicing wires to the LEDs so the LEDs can be standing off the board by 10 centimeters or so, that's when you want to include the 2.2 microfarad capacitor. But since the kit was not meant for that, we just offered that option there because it's mentioned in the data sheet that if you want to, you can. So uh, the only electrolytic capacitor that you have to worry about in this kit is this 10 microfarad capacitor. And if you don't know much about capacitors, it does matter which side you place where. Uh, the, longer, the longer pin is the positive, the shorter pin is the negative. Uh, the 10 microfarad capacitor is over here. There's a plus symbol to the right, so we're going to want to place our longer pin on the right. Just want to make a note of that. Uh, the tack switch can only fit in one way, so that's not going to be a problem. Same with the, uh, the variable resistor. That's only going to fit in one way. So I'll solder those, and I'm going to talk about the socket and the LEDs. So next we've got the socket. Now it's very important you place the socket as you see on the board, there's a little notch here on the footprint. Match the notch to the uh, socket so you know that you can follow the uh, the chip notch to the actual chip. So let's solder that. We'll place our uh, our chip in the socket, and then we'll, lastly we'll do the LEDs. For each LED, it's labeled uh, R R R R Y Y Y G G G. So red, yellow, green. What you want to do is, for each, uh, for each LED, there's a long pin and a short pin. The long pin is the positive, the anode, and that's placed on the chip side. The cathode is the shorter pin of the LED and the negative side, and that's placed on this side of the board. So as you can see, this is how we want to place each of them. You want to make sure the long pin is on the chip side and the short pin is on the outside of the board. Something to note here. The LEDs stand about a centimeter off the top of the board, and because they're so big, you might have to bend the outer ones out a little bit, just so they all fit. Uh, so, you know, make sure that you know, make sure they're all well connected and that they're straight. But you might have to bend them out a little bit because they will interfere with each other. So, what I've got here is I've got, for, for uh, demonstration's sake, I've got a uh, a wire connected to the bar and a wire connected to the cell pin. So when we connect those, it'll change to bar meter, bar graph mode. But for the time being, what I'll do is I'll just show you. I'll show you uh, the basic uh, setup mode. Uh, as soon as I press this button, it'll show me where the battery voltage is at. Now that's uncalibrated. We'll get that into a second. But if you want to see the uh, the LEDs lit up all the time, you can actually short this switch 
but to save power, we added that switch there so the user can press the switch whenever they want to see what their battery voltage is at. So you can have, what we do have is uh, four wires here. Uh, a red wire at V+, plus, black at ground, black at v, v ref ground, and red at V ref. So your, your supply voltage right here can be between roughly 6 and 15 volts. But you have, that means that your reference voltage will have to be uh, roughly 2 volts less than your reference voltage to work properly. So right now I've got 12 volts at V+. Plus. Both of my supply pins grounded because I'm using two different power supplies. And I'm using, right now I've got about 8.35 volts at my, my, refer at my reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate it because in this case, 8.34 volts is going to be a full battery for me. So what I'll do is I'll press the button and I'm going to very carefully tune this using the variable resistor up until I hit the top green button. You're going to do it very carefully. Okay, so now what I'll do is I will slowly turn the voltage at my reference down. 6 volts, 5 5.17, 4.875, 4.75, 4.05, 3.37 volts, 2.95, 2.04, 2.06, 1.41. So it takes steps down in voltage. I can bring it back up. Now what I'll do is I'll start and say I want 7 volts to be my reference voltage. What I'll do is I'll turn tune this back so that the top LED is green. There we go. Full battery. And I'll turn down. Now at 1.41 1 volts, it'll take steps. There's an internal comparator circuit that takes steps down. and the, So the adjustment is, is completely based on this. So say we want to turn our reference voltage down to 10 volts. What that means is we're going to be able to, to find a full range, a full dynamic range of about 8 volts. So I'll turn my reference down to, I'll turn my reference to 8 volts, roughly. And you always want to turn this down to find a starting point. Good. So now, even with the reference voltage of 10 volts, I can still bring the battery, battery down. to My power supply has a limited range of down to 1.41 uh, volts. So as you can see, it's basically multiplexing here because it can't go down to about 1.25 volts. So what I, now, let's try this. What I will do is I will short the bar and select lines to put in bar graph mode. So now it takes a ton more current, but uh, bar graph mode is actually more fun to look at. So again, let's make a reference voltage 7.32 volts, just to do one more demonstration. Bring the voltage down. And there we go. Multiplexing it to, or bar graphing down to 2, because my reference voltage can't go uh, lower than 1.41 volts. And that's that. So that's the kit. If you uh, want to splice off the LEDs by about 10 centimeters, you can place a 2.2 microfarad capacitor there. You can put a switch on the bar and select pins so you can change back and forth. You can short the switch to always have power on. And as, uh, as long as you, your, uh, your, your V plus voltage is about 2 volts higher than your V ref voltage, then you can have a full dynamic range based on your LEDs. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Let's go uh, look at the schematic quickly. So the schematic is pretty easy to understand. Pins 1, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10 are all connected to the cathodes of all the different LEDs. Uh, LED 1, which is low voltage, is connected to pin 1, and the top voltage LED is connected to 10. Our power supply pin is pin 3, which is connected to uh, V+. Plus. So that's our power supply voltage. We've got our V negative grounded, uh, our adjust pin and our RLO pin grounded. And if you're familiar with the LM3914, you'll know what that means. We don't have 
power going straight to our LEDs all one time. We've added a switch here. So again, you can you can add a jumper along the switch to have constant power going to the anodes of the LEDs. Current is regulated internally through a 1K resistor at pin 7, variable resistor. So we've got a 1K resistor that that regulates the brightness of the LEDs or rather the current through all of the LEDs. You can adjust that and make make a change to that too if you like. You can put you can exchange that resistor with something else to make them brighter or more dim as a power saver. Our adjustment variable resistor, we have the wiper connected to one side of the variable resistor connected to to 12 or 12 volts. In this case 12 volts, our V plus line. And that is our calibrator right there. You use that to tune your reference voltage. Remember when you're at when you're putting a reference voltage on on the VREF line, you want to make sure to tune so that you want to make sure that it's a full battery or a full supercapacitor. You want to make sure that it's uh, it's full when you calibrate it. You don't necessarily want to use a, a discharged battery or discharged supercapacitor if you're using it for a, a if you're reusing the same application, or else you'll have to keep tuning it. So anyway. Uh, we've got our two test impact pins, which is bar and cell. When you leave pin nine floating, you're in, you're in, you're not in bar mode, you're in uh, dot mode. But as soon as you p connect pin nine to VCC by jumping the bar and select pins, you're then using bar meter mode. So that takes up more power, but it looks a heck of a lot cooler. So if your V plus, if you, if your power supply is, if you're not, if you're not worried about using up too much power by all means use bar mode and short the button uh, this is our our v uh, v ref or v plus pin and our two grounds our v plus pin has a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a 1 or 10 microfarad capacitor for smoothing and and uh, decoupling directly to ground and this is our v ref line pin that's connected to pin 5 which is the signal pin of the lm3914 so that's that's the schematic. Pretty straightforward. You can build it yourself or you can find this kit online at engineeringshock.com or electroniclessons.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like the Instructable.